We must fight together or the whole planet dies. Most things the Crisis Part 2 teaser showed us are things we kind of expected for Part 2. Supergirl looks like she's going to be the main player. I assume she's probably going to die at the end. I know she dies in the Crisis on Infinite Earths comic. I assume they're going to follow that in this movie. Then I assume Barry dies in Part 3, but in this Part 2 teaser, the thing that caught me the most was the character of Batman Beyond. Are we getting Terry McGinnis in this movie? I had no idea that this might be a possibility. Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis, obviously was not a character when the Crisis on Infinite Earths comics came out. He wasn't created until Batman Beyond, the show. Can you believe that we've never seen the character of Batman Beyond in a film of any kind outside of Batman Beyond Return of the Joker? This man has not been in a DC movie since the year 2000. I was born the year before that. What what are we doing, DC? Man, thank you for including this character. He deserves so much more respect than he gets and so much more attention than he gets. I mean, if you're not reading DC Comics, you haven't seen the character of Terry McGinnis since the Justice League Unlimited episode epilogue. That, that's pretty crazy. This does raise a few questions, though, given the ending of Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1. Uh, you know, the Legion no longer exists henceforth. Uh, no future characters probably exist at the moment. So, this Batman Beyond, he's probably from an alternate Earth. Did their future not get screwed up? Or is... Batman Beyond, currently the present of that universe. Like, is this maybe the DC animated universe? And, like, they're in the Batman Beyond time era? Because, like, in real time, the DCAU started 20 plus years before even the DCAMU did, which means it started 30 years before Man of Tomorrow was released, essentially. I feel like I'm probably trying to connect too many dots with that and align too many of these universes that I grew up on with DC to to this one film, this one story that is Crisis on Infinite Earths. But it's perfect. Like, if you're going to incorporate anything you've ever done as Warner Bros. Animation in the realm of DC, that's the way to do it, man. And I said before that I would love some kind of return to the DC animated universe, the original that started with Batman the Animated Series. But I wasn't sure how I felt about that anymore after the passing of Kevin Conroy. But seeing Batman Beyond in this trailer gives so many more avenues to that being a possibility and us not having to be too sad because, like, Terry McGinnis, of course, he's going to outlive Bruce Wayne. I don't know, even if it's not that version of Terry, not that version of Batman Beyond, I'm still, I'm still excited to see the character Batman Beyond, whatever version it may be. As long as it's Terry, like, if, if it's not Terry, that, that would be stupid. Like, I want to see his interactions with this Batman, or any Batman that might be in this movie. Bruce Wayne Batman, of course, because Terry's and Bruce's moments in the original Batman Beyond are probably the best parts of that show. They are absolutely incredible. And they don't always get along, but they typically have the same goals because at their core, they are both Batman. But yeah, that's mostly what I have to say about the part two teaser. Like, it didn't show too much in terms of the story, not much that we didn't already know. Batman Beyond just really caught my eye, and I love the character of Batman Beyond, so I'm excited to see him again. Let me know what you thought about the part 2 teaser down in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. All living things in all realities are about to die.